Well, hello and welcome to this edition of the EV Revolution Show. My name is Kenneth Bocor, your host, and this is a special edition episode where I'm now allowed to release information from Cadillac that they've provided to me on the 2024 Celestic all-electric, and it's a brand new model from them. It looks a lot like a Lyric, so let me give you the lowdown on what I know about it. Now, the Cadillac Celestic is, by their words, a Cadillac unlike any other. They've uh, designed and have a brand new vision, uh, which is a bespoke, handcrafted, ultra-luxury vehicle and leveraging the latest automotive innovations that they have. Now, looking at it, you will see that it looks a lot like the Lyric, and that's to be expected. It should be sharing components and design language very much so from the Lyric, as the Lyric that Cadillac had mentioned is the foundational all-electric vehicle that they will build a, a larger suite of vehicles based on. So there's no surprises there um, for the looks and the design language being very similar. Now, um, the body that they've created, the body structure that Cadillac has created for the Celestic is uh, different. It's nothing like they've done before. They are using mega casted. So the underbody and the shock towers are, are six large casted aluminum components. And again, we know through Tesla's trial and error that their mega castings have been very successful in bringing costs down and helping to achieve um, faster production rates on their vehicles. So that's going to be interesting to see uh, the GM and Cadillac using this approach to manufacturing in the body uh, structure. They've also uh, are adding additive manufacturing where they have about 115 3D printed parts. Uh, so utilizing newer technology in some of these parts and, and a flex fabrication method which um, will feature over 300 fabricated pieces throughout the body structure, the chassis, the interior, and electrical components. So a lot more insourcing and a lot more control of all those uh, components that go into the manufacturing. Now the Celestic is based on the Altium platform, and I say this every time, Altium is their foundation for all their, for G, all their current and near term, near to midterm EVs that GM is, is putting out through the different uh, divisions. It adds a structural element. Now in the Celestic, it's going to be a 111 kilowatt hour battery pack. It's going to be an all wheel drive dual motor system, which of course will give it outstanding performance. This performance is going to translate into an estimated 600 horsepower uh, for power measurements and 640 pound-feet of torque from those two motors, giving a 0-60 to 60 in about 3.8 seconds, so under 4 seconds, which is fast, folks. Uh, we are talking, you know, again, uh, these EVs go pretty quick, as you know. Now, supported, the power, of course, with that large battery pack, is going to be DC fast charging, and it's going to be capable up to 190 kilowatts. Uh, enabling what Cadillac estimates about 78 miles in 10 minutes. Now, now some other engineering feats within this vehicle are going to be something called for, uh, active roll control. This is a Cadillac first. Of course, it's going to have adaptive air suspension and, magnet and also magnetic ride control 4.0 systems. With active rear steering, and we're starting to see much more uh, rear steering capabilities in these luxury sedans and higher end EV pickup trucks as well. Um, you know, like uh, like the Silverado as an example. So it's no surprise when you get these longer wheelbase vehicles that you want to be able to maneuver them in tight parking spaces and in smaller surroundings. So having active rear steering to some sort of degree, nine or ten percent, it seems to be the average, really really helps out. Now, there's a, as you look at the design elements, you see a lot of similarities to the Lyric as I mentioned earlier, especially in the exterior glass components. Uh, now, the glass that they're using in this vehicle is laminated acoustic glass and it surrounds uh, the, the entire vehicle. It's got a thickness of over 7 millimeters and a heated uh, backlight as well. And some of this glass on the roof especially is smart using utilizing smart glass technologies or what they call suspended particle device technologies, which enables really all so, so much versatile control over the amount of light entering the vehicle from the roof glass. The interior is going to be very nice. This is a luxurious sedan, folks. I don't have any pricing, but it won't be cheap. 
It's a, it's a four passenger, as you can see. It utilizes um, uh, very much an individualized comfort approach to the cabin uh, and the climate system. It's got a four zone microclimate system. Of course, the design element is very futuristic looking, but a lot of technology, right? You have a, a large infotainment system. Um, you've got this 55 inch diagonal pillar to pillar advanced H high definition display, which is unique to Cadillac. Uh, it's got really impressive pixel densities and contract ratio, contrast ratios, and it adds uh, digital blinds for active privacy as well, kind of like a screen privacy element. It's got a front command center and a rear command center to it, um, and, the, and there are five actually screens, total display screens within uh, this vehicle. And rear passengers can have their own 12.6 inch diagonal advanced displays, and that's usually as big as most front infotainment systems for many manufacturers. So this is what the rear passengers get. With connected cameras as well, um, you can look at the interior and exterior cameras, and there's a lot of Google connectivity as well with Google Assistant, Maps, and Play that are, are built in and been part of this, this system. Uh, of course, on the technology side, there's going to be uh, Cadillac's uh, GM's Ultra Cruise technology. So it expands the smart cruise into a higher end uh, autonomous uh, vehicle driving experience with hand-free assistant technologies, and it'll have all the hardware to enable Ultra Cruise and, and uh, adding more functionality as well through uh, the support of over-the-air updates. Now, the sound system in, in this will have only <laughs> 41 speakers, <laughs> believe it or not, three exterior speakers and 38 in, inside speakers uh, from provided by AKG Audio System. This is going to be sound like you're right in a concert hall with a thousand watts of power right from the factory. It'll have some EV sound enhancements, next gen active noise cancellation. And I, if you watch my lyric review, folks, you know that the noise cancellation works extremely well. The lyric is such a quiet vehicle. And this is going to have also Cadillac's first vehicle exterior sound system, uh, as I mentioned, with three speakers. So who knows what uh, Cadillac's going to provide uh, their uh, owners with for exterior sounds. Uh, I guess through OTA, maybe the sky's the limit. Maybe you'll be able to do uh, you know, Christmas jingle bells and all this kind of stuff, some of the things that Tesla can provide. So. Um, you know, that's basically what I have uh, on this vehicle as of now. It's, it's, it's a revolutionary vehicle for Cadillac incorporating many new technologies uh, on, that, on that very foundational Ultium uh, battery pack um, system, which is now, again, the backbone of all their EVs that we're seeing come out and being released. I'm excited about this. Uh, I don't have any more information other than what I've given you here today, folks, uh, on this reveal episode. Uh, this is a 2024 model, so I don't expect first deliveries of probably until the latter part of next year or maybe into early uh, first half of calendar year 2024. More information to follow. This will be a luxury, high-end luxury sedan. So thank you very much for uh, watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you are really blown away by what Cadillac has done in this new vehicle and, and bringing it to market. Uh, yes, it's a high end. Yes, it's an expensive vehicle. But again, it just shows the, what can be done on these electrified platforms with a technology and level of comfort and, and drivability that EVs can offer. So thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed on YouTube, please do. I would appreciate it. If you are interested in helping me on Patreon, you can look at that link at the bottom of the screen and you can uh, uh, follow the instructions there. Stay, continue to watch the EV Revolution as I get more stuff coming out, more shows. And until the next time, I will see you when I see you. Take care and bye-bye.